The Earth is always changing, and so is its climate. However, usually Earth's climate changes on a very long period of time. Climate change as we refer to it today has to do with the man-made contributions that are changing the global climate on an extremely accelerated timescale. Carbon dioxide is one of the main offenders when it comes to our changing climate. While it does occur naturally, the extreme levels in our atmosphere are due to human-made machines and industrial processes. When CO2 is in the atmosphere, it doesn't just disappear or move out into space. It moves around the globe and slowly spreads throughout the entire atmosphere. In this model, we're seeing just how easily CO2 can spread around the world, even from just a few particularly high-producing areas. CO2 is a greenhouse gas, which is a gas that traps heat. The more CO2 in our atmosphere, the more heat will be trapped, and our entire planet will experience temperature changes. While not every single place will experience the same level of rising temperatures, global average temperatures will continue to rise. Climates all over the world will begin to change. But what does that mean for New England? New England is home to many beautiful ecosystems and wildlife. We have bustling cities, meandering rivers, the Atlantic Ocean, open fields, and of course, our beloved New England forest. Warming temperatures and changing weather patterns will impact the New England forest ecosystems in very unique and permanent ways. Specifically, these changes will likely increase the spread of invasive species. Invasive species are organisms that move to an area that they are not originally from and cause harm. One invasive species that scientists have their eye on is the hemlock woolly adelgid. The hemlock woolly adelgid is a small aphid-like amber-colored insect that was accidentally brought from Japan to Richmond, Virginia in the 1950s. Over the last 70 years, it has spread across the eastern coast and can now be found from northern Georgia to the southern coast of Maine. This insect uses toxic saliva to feed on eastern hemlock trees, which are coniferous trees with dense, dark green needles that provide food and shelter for animals year-round. But once infested, the hemlock woolly adelgid can kill a tree in as little as four years. Luckily, New England's cold winters have historically helped control the spread of this invasive insect. But with warmer temperatures and shorter winters, the hemlock woolly adelgid will be able to spread even further and kill hemlock trees faster than ever before. How might these changes impact the New England forest wildlife? Typically covered by dense needles, hemlock trees provide a variety of birds with a place to forage for food, build nests, and roost. With infected hemlock trees dying out, the forests are opening up and allowing light into the lower levels, leading to dense, deciduous undergrowth no longer suitable for some birds. Scientists have already found a strong decline in the birds that are closely associated with hemlock trees, including the black-throated green warbler, blue-headed vireo, and the black Bernian warbler. As the forest changes, birds that can live in a variety of environmental conditions move in. This includes blue jays. Blue jays, like cobalt here, thrive in forests with more deciduous trees like red oaks and maples. They are also nest predators, known to raid the nests of other birds. This added pressure on species that are already struggling to survive leads to a less diverse population of birds in an area. While more of one species may sound like a good thing, a well-balanced ecosystem has many different types of wildlife and this balance is key for New England forests to be resilient to challenges like invasive species and climate change. Meanwhile, on the forest floor, other animals are feeling the impact of losing hemlock trees. Who else might be affected? Let's ask Noonie, our resident porcupine at the Museum of Science. Porcupines love to snack on needles and bark of hemlock trees especially during the harsh winter months when food isn't as easy to find. 
Hemlock trees also provide year-round covering that makes for an excellent shelter for porcupines to stay warm, hidden, and safe from predators. As the hemlock trees continue to die from this invasive adelgid, porcupines may be tempted to find their food and shelter elsewhere, including newly planted trees, sheds, or even outdoor furniture. This unusual behavior could bring them closer to humans and cause them to be viewed as a nuisance by local communities. The New England forest is an iconic feature of the Northeast that will undoubtedly be transformed over the next several decades due to climate crisis. As the forest adapts and changes to the higher temperatures and shorter winters, so will the wildlife. Some species will thrive in the new conditions. Others may adapt or even decline. While these changes may feel daunting, it's important to take the time to acknowledge the irreplaceable New England forest and prepare to protect such a valuable resource for the future to come.